Good morning everyone, today we're going camping. We're gonna be heading out of town on a two day so camping trip. My bag's packed, I'm ready to go. Let's head on outside and get everything loaded up so we can hit the road. A few days ago guys, I got a call from our local truck dealership. They just built the ultimate RV camper and they asked if I wanted to be the first renter. They gave me a huge discount so we first have to head on over to the dealership to pick it on up. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. But I'm pretty excited for this guys. I'm actually going to be setting my eyes on it for the first time here as well. I do have a little bit of paperwork as well uh, since we are renting it, but it is going to be $500 a day. So $1,000 just for this RV and they are actually throwing in a small utility trailer which is going to be good to, uh, as we go on the trails here because our trailers are really meant for the road and to go off-roading on trails we, we need a trailer equipped especially with a clearance uh, so we don't damage it and have no problem going around on the dirt roads we're here guys and oh boy there it is there wow that is unbelievable now we are actually gonna be leaving the f-350 here we'll pick it up in a few days Alright guys, the truck's locked. We should be good to go to leave it here for a few days here. It's a lot better than running around town back and forth here. But oh boy guys, this thing is huge. This is based off the TOX 3500. Looks like we got the camping insert. And this could fit probably one or two people inside here. And then a few uh, uh, tents around it. If you did want to bring some extra people here. But this thing looks pretty cool here. So this is on massive tires. The tires are, are like half my size here. Look at the suspension, the front bumper. I mean, guys, this is meant for some serious off-roading here. We got fender flares. I mean, looks like this thing could go six, seven feet in water. No problem here since you got the snorkel for the air filter. So you don't have any problems there. But this thing looks unbelievable here. Why don't we come around to the back? Now, this does seem to be a dually. This is a huge truck here. Wow, that is so cool here. You guys can see it does look pretty cool. Now, we do have a drop hitch. And he was letting us use one of the trailers here. Actually, I almost thought about buying one of these. But hey, I guess this will be a good demo here for us but uh he already uh he said the key was in it he's actually out uh getting brunch with his uh families here so we'll hop on the inside oh boy guys taking this a uh, few hours away on a road trip seems like a pretty good thing huge tow mirrors wow i am so excited here for us but let me know down below guys if you've downloaded the all new tox 3500 i thought this would be a really cool epic uh system we do have here now one thing we do want to adjust the uh hitch here on a little bit too high right there should be good to go here now i, I do want to just check a few things uh just uh adjusting the mirrors really quickly wow we are sitting we're, we're gonna be like a monster truck going down the road Guys, we're back at the house now. We just got to get an ATV or a quad. I'm not sure exactly which one we're going to take since we do have a lot here. But I actually just did this. This should be able uh, to actually load it up without any ramps here, which is going to be really helpful here for us. But before we go to the uh, pole bar in there, I do want to load up a box of snacks, a little box of food that I already prepared here. But I mean, guys, this looks so cool. Just look at that. Now, one thing, I think we are well over 15 feet high, so we do need to be careful there. We don't take it down any power lines here but luckily if it wasn't for these steps along the side here climbing up in this is a really tricky thing here it's just so tall all right, let's see what quad we're going to be taking here. Now, we do have a few quads here. We have the dirt buggy, but I'm actually thinking I really want to take the 4x4 lizard bear here. This quad has a really good suspension, and this has a lot of travel in it, and this is a little bit bigger than uh, some of our other ones here, so I think we'll take this one, and we should have no problem here as well. But let me know, guys, what do you think about this ultimate camper here? It's so cool the dealership is letting people rent it for $500 a day here. Now, I did spend right around $800 so I did get a little bit of a discount and uh, he did ask that I make a pretty cool YouTube video showing it and that is what we are going to be doing here now I'm thinking maybe backing up uh on our first try, guys, there we have it. Wow, that was a little bit trickier than what I was expecting, it, but there we have it. We got it loaded up here. We'll just put a few straps here on it. We don't want to lose it going down the road. And guys, I think we are all ready to go here. Just got to readjust the uh, hitch here. And you guys can see we do have power, things like that. So we should be good. But I'm so excited for this trip here. Like I mentioned, it's a solo camping trip, just us. And I'm going to be bringing the cam along with me as well. 
Well, guys, we're leaving the house here. We have a two-hour drive here. I'm so excited here for it. Now, I'm already thinking our gas mileage is probably going to be five miles per gallon here. Not too good, especially with the diesel. But, guys, this is a huge truck here. I kind of think this is like the uh, Ford F650 size F750s that you guys have seen here. Even the Chevy 5500s. I mean, this is one pretty cool truck. It's so cool. We are getting more and more mods here on Xbox. And you guys have been asking for more PlayStation Xbox videos. And that is my plan going forward here. Hopefully, we are doing two to three every single week now, which should be a lot of fun. And a video like this, guys, is so unique. The Ultimate Camper and only $1,000, I think, is a really good deal, even if we didn't get the discount from the, the uh, local dealership here. This thing looks pretty cool, and this is perfect for off-roading on several uh, pretty uh, challenging trails. We're just outside the city now, heading down a few gravel roads here, but you guys can see this big forest in the distance too. The left hand side is actually where our campgrounds is located here. I'm not even sure where the entrance is. This is actually my first time here, and we are on the Griffin, Indiana map. Like always, the full mods list is linked down below here, but I hope everyone has been having an amazing day here so far. My weekend's been pretty good, and it's getting even better that we get to record some Xbox videos as well, but I think guys, this utility trailer is perfect our trailers really don't have the ground clearance that was what i was really focused on if we have to drive over logs things like that here but we have to find the entrance to it i'm not exactly sure and i was talking to a few people that recently went camping here and they did say the trail has a pretty narrow one and that is also why i wanted a kind of a very slim setup here but oh boy and we are coming here look at that all-terrain uh, trail oh boy guys here we go There looks to be a lot of brush here. We might be breaking a few branches off. Hopefully, we don't uh, put any big scratches, big dents in it, and the trailer's having a little bit of trouble getting up and over a piece of wood here. Uh-oh. Looks like it's just be coming along for the ride, I guess. No problem. We are just going to uh, be keep on going here. Almost missing the trail. This is a really tricky area here. I haven't really been on an off-road trail like this before. I've always had a nice uh, dirt roads here, but we actually have to find a place uh, to set up camp here. We'll just keep on going on. There there is a lot of trees that look like are just ready to fall down here. We want to be careful. We don't want any to fall down here on us. Uh, but you guys can see the suspension work on the uh, TLX 3000 is really getting a workout here today. It's actually very smooth inside the cab here. But on the road, it, on this trail, it really looks challenging here. Just a small, like a foot wide trail here. But hey, we are still going. Oh wow, look at that. We are actually coming up on a cabin. That is a pretty neat thing here. I think we'll set up camp near it as well. Maybe that's a local store you could go. Maybe that's someone's cabin that they do live in here. But hey, I think we'll set up camp about here. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good area here for us. We'll get the uh, trailer disconnected. And that's A-OK -okay that it does a tip like that. That way it's easy to get that offloaded here. But let's, yeah, we'll set up camp here. Let's hop in the back here really quickly. Now we should be able uh, to get the door unfolded here. We got the ultimate TLX camper all set up here. Now I am keeping the door closed here. I am noticing quite a few bugs and flies and we definitely don't want them in there here. They're going to be bugging us all night here. But guys, now it's time to get the quad off here. Hey, this is going to be nice and easy. And I think we're just kind of go, going to go cruising around here. But I will say guys, I think we're like two, three miles in uh, the off-road uh, section here. Pretty small trail. Now there were a few small trail signs here. All-purpose trail, yeah. Uh, luckily that was uh, perfect here, but you guys can see, I mean, pretty dense. There's really not much uh, trails here, but we'll have some fun riding. Hopefully we can find some rocks or something and really have a little bit of fun trying to climb up over them. Now, guys, camping is a lot of fun here. There's so many different things you could do. Usually, uh, we just try to go and have a great time here with the quads and ATVs. But, guys, it looks like I actually found another trail here, which does look pretty sweet here. We'll get a little bit of speed doing a little bit of trail riding, I guess, here. This quad, though, really uh, handles uh, quite well here. I'm actually, hopefully, we don't end up getting lost here because I, I'm not even sure where we are. We're actually coming out on the other side of here. Oh, wow. And that's our log cabin that we rent out here. That's 
pretty cool here. So why don't we do a little bit of speed, a little bit of uh, kind of how fast we could go on the trail here without rolling, without being a little bit too unsafe, really locking it up there. Wow. I mean, this thing, guys, really is doing a pretty good job here. Now, this is a pretty big quad as well for uh, uh just a quad in general and I think that does come in pretty handy sometimes here but with a full uh, dynamic suspension here in farm sim it is probably one of the best quads that I've seen well guys I think that's pretty much it here today was a lot of fun here we not only got to rent uh, the ultimate camper we are taking it out on trip and I'm going to be here for a few more days here so I'm going to set up a small fire probably just relax by it maybe uh, see if we get uh, watch a few farm sim videos if I can find a little bit of a connection here but I think we're going to call it a day so hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more